the CDC says that there have only been about 30 or 32 cases of Nigleria falari in the past 10 years. So that tells you that it's only about one or two cases a year in the entire United States. But just this summer, there have been two cases of the deadly amoeba, one in Little Rock and one in St. Bernard Parish. According to LSU Health's Dr. Van Cherry, the amoeba kills about 99% of the people infected. As it causes tissue damage in the brain, just like any germ does when it gets around the brain. It damages the tissue and causes swell, inflammation and swelling. In Little Rock, the amoeba is thought to have been contracted at a water park. But in St. Bernard Parish, the amoeba was found in four different places within their water system, likely not killed because there wasn't enough chlorine in the water. While officials in St. Bernard Parish are now increasing the level of chlorine in their drinking water to make sure something like this doesn't happen again, having chlorine at an unsafe level has never been an issue in Shreveport. We maintain through our treatment process and through the distribution system a residual total chlorine level that is well above what it takes to you know, eradicate any kind of any kind of amoeba, amoeba in the system. Which means that even if the amoeba got into the water treatment facility, the chlorine would kill it before it got to the public. And Shreveport's water and sewage director stands by the safety of the city's drinking water. Our drinking water is, is very safe. It's safe to drink, it's safe to bathe in, it's safe to shower in. Meaning Shreve portions are not at risk of contracting the amoeba from the city's water. In Shreveport, Annie Anderson, Fox 33 News, Arklatex. Summer of 2012 compared to I think maybe two days we pumped about 75 million gallons of water at night. You know, at our peak time we were blowing at about 75 million. Every other day it's like 40 million flow rate, 50 million flow.